Hello, you're welcome to another beautiful day that the Lord has made for us to rejoice and be glad in it. This is a light for the nation, your daily devotional program brought to you by the Catholic Church. My name is Tony Abba. Today, Monsignor Michael Sasa will be telling us how to be silent when we are tempted to hurt others. I welcome you viewers to yet another session of reflection. Today we want to invite the Holy Spirit to assist us to learn to keep quiet when we are about to destroy other people. Let us pray. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. God our Father. Again and again, we will continue to thank you for the privilege, for the opportunity to reflect on your word and to better the quality of our life, especially in relation to you. Be with us at this moment. May your word sink into us and bring us out as better people through Christ our Lord. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Viewers, as announced already, the topic of our reflection is be silent when tempted to destroy other people. It is very easy to talk ill of people. Very easy. But when others talk ill of us, we get angry. Now, it is expected that we will realize ourselves that talking ill of us will make us angry. Talking ill of other people should also make them angry. So back again to the golden rule, don't do to others what we wouldn't want others to do to you. Now, when you are about to begin to talk fantastic stories, that is, negative stories about other people, apply break. Apply break. And just tell yourself, no, this is not proper. This is not good enough. I shouldn't do this. And then the, maybe your hearer says, ah, we wanted to say something. No, 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 no. I think, uh, forget about it. Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, I've forgotten even what I wanted to say. And let it go. We must be conscious of it. If we are not conscious of it, you see, we will continue to repeat the same error the same sin over and over again. Now, why do we think, why do we destroy others? Very often, we destroy others in order that others may look at us, you know, uh, to be greater. But we make a mistake. When you, do, you talk ill of people before others, those others before whom you are talking ill of those people, we also think that when they are not there, you will equally talk ill of them. And therefore you are destroying yourself. So an attempt to destroy others, you destroy yourself. You give yourself a name that you wouldn't want to bear. Stop talking ill of others. Because people will also believe you will talk ill of them. That's not a good title. That is not a good title. Apart from the fact that it is a sin before God. It's also a sin against even our own self. That you give yourself a name that you wouldn't want to bear. Anytime you have that temptation, just turn it immediately to something good. Oh, that brother, ah, no, the brother is good. It's good. It's good. If ever you have something against him, go to that brother later. And say, brother, this my this this is my thought of you. I don't know whether I'm right. Oh well, if you hear the full story, you will discover you are wrong. Thank you for coming to me. And then he start his story. By the time you hear the story, you will thank God for that grace not to have spoken about that person that way you thought of him. 
I think we can make effort in this direction. Let us encourage one another to make effort. I know somebody, I, I came across a friend who we were two, just talking of something. Then that person just came to join us and he waited a little. I said, oh, brother, have you seen so and so person? And that brother said, no, I have not seen him. He said, oh, God, that fellow is awful. He said, ah, what did he do? Oh, he said, that brother, I'm not too sure he's a Christian. Ah, what did he do? Oh, he's devilish. Ah, but what did he do? No, 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 no. That fellow should not leave. But what did he do? He kept on and on and on without telling us exactly what he did. So finally, that other brother now told him, he said, well, you have condemned him, but the man is still alive. So the, the vocabularies you have spent on him now are enough to bury him alive. But he's still alive. So you have not told us what exactly he has done. He said, no, he's a blackmailer. And that brother said, what you are accusing him of is exactly what you are doing here right now. That is not good enough. That is not good enough. Can I call him now so that he can come here and hear your story? You know what he said? He said, no, 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 no. no. You can ask him later. And then he left. We looked at one another and we laughed at him. That's exactly the kind of image you create of yourself when you start talking ill and dem demolishing others. Let us not end up in that kind of story. That is not good enough. Shall we pray? Mighty God, our Father, we thank you for this lesson. Talking ill of people does not give you glory either because we are their creator. Neither does it give them good name and good reputation. The one who tells the story also diminishes his own reputation. Grant us the grace not to fall into the sin of talking ill of others when they are not there. We make a prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. May your blessings be upon us in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Monsignor Michael Sasa is of the Veritas University, Abuja, guiding us in today's reflections. I believe you have learned how to maintain silence if you are tempted to destroy others. If you have questions or suggestions you wish to share with us, please send us a short message on the numbers displayed on your screen or send us an email at ctvnigeria.yahoo.com. Or better still, you can drop us a comment on our Facebook page. We want to hear from you. We want to help you to understand the concept of being silent. Bye for now and have a wonderful day.